either Facebook. I guess I don't have to introduce myself tonight. My name is Skip Bayless, Packer Nation. You know that better than Cowboy Nation does. I just watched my man Aaron Rodgers. I'm not a big fan. Ripped my guts out again at Jerry World. He owns Jerry World. He won his only Super Bowl and his only Super Bowl MVP at Jerry World. He pulled it out last year with the third and forever throw to Jared Cook because we were somehow, I'm a Cowboy fan, in prevent defense. And then Mason Crossbar kicked his second all-time lucky field goal to rip my heart out <sighs> from 51 yards after he made one from 56 yards. And I kept thinking today, please, please, because the demons got to Mason Crossbar today early at Jerry World. I don't know what's going on, but I never can understand kickers. I hate kicking to start with. And it would have been such justice because this was different. The score was off. It was 31 all last year, and this was 31 28 Dallas with whatever was left a minute and was it 16 seconds left? I don't know. I don't want to remember. And I'm thinking, please just force Mason Crossbar to have to tie it instead of win it. Just force him to have to kick an all guts kick a choke kick, an anti-clutch kick, because he's got the demons in his head because he missed two extra points early. And I'm thinking, just just please force one fourth down. Just stop him. I don't care where it is. I don't care if it's at the 20 or the 15 or the 8. Just make Mason Crossbar kick it through the uprights because I think he would have gagged. I do. I think it was on a silver platter for justice to prevail after he hit that 56-yard dying quail that barely greased over the crossbar to the right. It was a shank. It was a fade. If you play golf, it was one a shank. It was just it was just a slice. And then the last one last year, he snap hooks it left. I've never seen a field goal in my life snap hooked left and then somehow moving back to the right indoors, just inside the left upright, Game over, Aaron Rodgers wins. And today, I just needed a field goal. And instead, it looked like they had him contained in the pocket. And for some reason, it's it's the one play, as we saw Aaron Rodgers tell Aaron Andrews after the game, that they didn't spy. There's nobody watching him. He saw it. He knew if he could just get outside of David Irving, not that hard to do. He just came back for his first game. I thought he played pretty well. Got a big hit on Aaron Rodgers on the one that he missed to Devontae where he threw it too far inside on Jordan Lewis. But he got outside, got him down in close, and then I just knew it. But I knew it all week. I predicted Aaron Rodgers would win. I thought he'd throw a party today, and he threw for only 221, but they didn't have the ball that much. It was 35 minutes. Cowboys to 30, I'm sorry, 25 minutes, Green Bay. And that's the recipe. That's how you do it. <clears throat> but I'm sorry, I'm a little hoarse because I've been screaming at the TV. Also apologize, no Hazel tonight. <clears throat> I just couldn't make her do it again, our little Maltese. She usually has our cameo to start off our Facebook. <sighs> and... Ernestine not happy with me because I screamed a little too much at the TV. Hazel's not happy because she's a little scared. She thinks Dad flipped. Dad often flips during Cowboy games, especially against Aaron Rodgers. I never liked the game from the start. I didn't like it at, what was it, 21-6. I immediately tweeted, this is far from over. It just started feeling like the Rams game. But one huge difference this time, look, against Aaron Rodgers, when you're, you're playing with a bunch of kids on defense and no Sean Lee, and their kid is running wild, as in Aaron Jones, so now you got double Aaron, double Jeopardy Aaron. I, I didn't see that coming. I knew he was pretty good, but they, they made him into what Zeke was last year. 
Zeke finally got it going in the fourth quarter. I guess that's the good news going to the bye week, but you're two and three. You're still one and one, one and oh in the division. Philly looks like gangbusters. Washington, I think, has played even better than Philly. Giants look dead in the water. Sorry to hear about Odell. I was watching it live. <clears throat> Didn't know he'd fractured his, what was his fibula. God bless him. He can be a little out there sometimes, but I think he's a good kid. And yet, now it looks like the division is the Eagles to lose. But here we go into division football after a game and the bye week at San Francisco. But there's just, there's one thing you can't do unless you're just a bad team. And, and sometimes I think this team is just not very good, seriously, <clears throat> being totally objective. I just think it's not very good because you can't do what Terrence Williams did. He dropped two balls last week against the Rams, and this wasn't just a drop. This is horrendous pick six, go the other way drop. And again, maybe Dak put a little too much heat on it. You're pro. You're, you've been playing. You've made big catches and big games, playoff game catches against Detroit, remember, going back a couple of years that led to the game at Lambeau, which was, that was a catch. See, Aaron Rodgers gets all these breaks. I don't know. But today, the, you just can't do it in a close game in which there are no other turnovers. There's one turnover in the whole game. You, you can't do that. You can't, again, Dak led Terrence away from Clay Matthews, and he wants him to catch it and turn. And I don't know, he caught him a little off guard. I, again, you just got to make the catch. I know it's got some zip on it. You got to make the catch. Instead, the ball goes right through his hands and right to, who? which one was it? I can't even remember. Demetrius Randall. And he walks into the end zone. Game over. Like, like you're going to lose. If you give them seven points in a, in a back-and-forth game, in which your rep recipe is correct, because then you nickel and dime your way down the field.